does this thing work? Hello, hello, hello little gremlins. So today I'm going to be reacting to Bad Human Anatomy. You all have heard of Bad Men's Anatomy, Bad Women's Anatomy, and Bad Trans Anatomy. Well, I'm basically going to mesh all of them into one video. I've been following bad medical takes on Twitter for a while, and they have a lot of these bad anatomy takes. So that's where I got these from. I'm scared, but let's get into it. Being around women is known to lower testosterone levels. These days, they're everywhere. You're not supposed to look at or even speak to them, yet everybody fringe confusion as to why T levels are so low. Uh, is it just me, or did that sound really gay? Oh, talk to women is gonna lower your testosterone levels, so talk to men instead. <laughs> men with low testosterone tend to have high- Wokeness? That's not even a word. But like, when I go on T, Chances are that's not going to change my political views. That's just the way your brain works. That's how you think. It has nothing to do with hormones. Okay, so for this one, I'm assuming the question is, like, which one do you find more attractive or something like that? Men who were exposed to too much... I don't even know how to pronounce that. ...will prefer the one on the right. Everyone else will want the one on the left. Do you know that exposure to stuff in the womb is what determines who you're attracted to? Is that what makes me pansexual? Hashtag thanks, mom. Just kidding. If you're watching this, I love you. So that was Bad Men's Anatomy, which was basically just toxic masculinity, but it's blamed on hormone levels. So uh, let's move on to Bad Women's Anatomy, which my best guess is just going to be misogyny but medical. I didn't get vaccinated because I actually want to be a mother. Why didn't you want to take it? You know, I've heard a lot of bad medical takes pertaining to vaccines, but this one is new. I'll give her that. But, um, what? How does getting injected with something affect your parenting? I'm, I don't follow, I'm sorry. Guys, did you know that vaccines are the most effective form of birth control? That man isn't doing anything wrong. She shouldn't be dressing like that in public. Also, she shouldn't be in the gym to begin with. Women aren't meant to do heavy exercises like this. It's bad for their health in the long run. Wow. To all of the girls who are physically active and or in phys ed, it's all a lie. Because a user on Twitter said so. Better just stop exercising. It's not good for you. We will always defend a woman's freedom to make her own reproductive health care decisions. Even newborn women? Um, unless if you're born an adult, there is no such thing as a newborn woman. A woman knows almost immediately if she's pregnant. Her body starts to change quickly right after becoming pregnant. Okay, this next one is not really bad women's anatomy so much as bad intersex anatomy. Careful of the long ultrasounds. My cousin is intersex from radiate radiation. Okay, this next one doesn't really fit a specific category of bad anatomy. It's just it's bad in general. No, no, this them. What makes a skincare product feminine? Do men not have skin? And why are kilts okay, but skirts aren't? Are shorts okay for women, or are those only for men? What makes a long skirt and a kilt different? Skirts are thinner material than kilts. Kilts are a heritage-based item. If the product has a picture of a woman on it, it is for women. And if the product has a man on it, it's for men. Otherwise, it is labeled as such. What makes them for women or for men? Who made the labels? Why are certain things only for men and certain things only for women? How does the material change whether it's a skirt or a kilt? Could men not just wear a long plaid skirt made of thick material? Is it always heritage? Yes, down with gender roles. It was always heritage. Men and women have very different chemical makeups of our bodies, so a female beauty product can cause significant side effects. Well... There goes gender nonconformity. 
because the Fluffy on Twitter said so. Apparently, it's not healthy for our bodies to just express ourselves differently. <laughs> wow. Okay, now I guess it's time for bad trans anatomy. I'm scared. Transgender people in Italy are cooking plastic bags to extract their estrogenic chemicals as their HRT pills run out. Wow, that was a mouthful and a half. Try saying that five times fast. Transsexuals feeding off plastic is the most modern development I can imagine. Sounds like a near-future dystopia Aegean story. What? If vaccines can alter DNA, how do we know how long it's been going on? I'm wondering if DNA manipulation is causing the recent rampant rise of children thinking that they are misgendered. Would this not be a convenient way to reduce birth rates and population? Wait, wait. It didn't take until, like, several minutes of editing until I noticed the typo. Covient. I don't know. I just thought that was funny. Anyway, back to the video. Again, with the vaccines, why do people hate vaccines so much? And this person clearly does not know what misgendering actually is, but that's honestly the part that I'm least surprised about. Women can certainly be funny, but I've never heard a funny transsexual. Okay, so you've never met a trans person before. Noted. You care that much about comedy that you would do a transvestigation on every comedian you hear? I wouldn't need to investigate if someone is a transsexual because I can <coughs> smell their hormones. <laughs> I can smell hormones. I can hear blood. But honestly, if you actually had that ability, that is a really impressive superpower. And you should give it to me so that I can finally be in a T for T relationship. We can grow d and prostates too, huh? Actually, yes, we can. An AFAB body on high doses of testosterone, which women bodybuilders and lesbians are known to do. I have never heard of a woman bodybuilder or a lesbian going on testosterone in my life, but whatever. It will enlarge the clit. Okay, that much is true. We transmasculine people refer to the growth of the clit as bottom growth. In some cases, it is able to grow a prostate. I wish. I thought you were educated on women's bodies. I hate to break it to ya, but the only one uneducated here is you. Also, if they're going on testosterone, chances are they're not women. Anyway, that is all for the video. Please like and subscribe if you want more content like this. And thank you for 600 subscribers, by the way. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video.